okay let us continue where we left off so i, I show you how how to earliest and to latest this two token i am getting it out uh, and i am normalizing to a uh, epoch value now i will make changes to my this panel um, uh, panel query so that i'll whatever date i will be choosing it from here it will go by that date based on the time uh, i am choosing it from here okay so let me edit it let me go to source okay so this is my ticket detail table okay so it has now a very simple query now we will modify this query as per the logic or strategy i have discussed over there discuss in here here okay so now i'll take my earliest token value i'll create an eval value so it will be my token value of earliest okay so this is my epoch value earliest epoch value now eval latest equals to now latest we need to handle one situation where i show you right when we selecting all time latest is giving me a minus epoch value so i'll say if my two latest is negative dollar dollar two latest is less than zero okay then i'll take the current current time so that my time range will be zero to now now is a function in splunk which always give you the current date and time and then otherwise i will take this value itself giving me um, okay so now if you if you see here it is saying unencoded this one we need to encode this less than and greater than to do that in person less than come okay now i'll convert my date field now as i said from filter by field whatever date i am choosing i'll be converting that one so to use to convert this one i'll say eval date field equals to again strp time to convert it to epoch now which one i'll be converting i'll be converting this filter by token value either it could it will be created date or resolved date that's why filter by token value i am giving here and i know the date format now that if you see here that's why i given the value of this created date as created underscore date because it is matching with my field value same as resolved date now what is this date format if i see my csv file it is mm dd yy then hour minute second okay so i'll be giving that date format so percent m for month then dash percent t for date then dash percent capital y for four digit year when you have two digit year you can use small y then there is a space then percent h for hour colon percent m for minute colon percent s for second so this is how i am converting my date field to epoch format now i'll add that logic where now splunk has this where command as well where my date field
is greater than equals to my earliest so greater than we need to encode it gt greater than equals to this earliest value and my date field less than equals to my latest value okay then i am just tabling it now when we use when we attach this logic to this search you do not need this earliest and latest one because it is automatically handled over here so i am removing this two from here okay let us save it and let's see whether our logic is working or not let me refresh this dashboard okay by default the dashboard is all time that's why it is showing all these nine records let's see whether we are preserving the default behavior or not so i am choosing created date here i will be choosing april from here date range 2018 04 okay so it sh it should give me two rows for the created date april month if i choose reported date now sorry resolve date resolve date do not have any april data if you see here it do not have any april data so it should not give me any row it's working as expected now let let us give may month where we have the resolve date value 5 2018 apply so now the dashboard data is getting filtered based on my resolve date if you see here it it has given me two records because of those may values and if you see underscore time it is still april and january so it is not going by underscore time it is going by resolve date so this is how we can modify the default time picker behavior to go by any date we have in our index field there could be a lot of scenarios uh, which requires this kind of behavior which you can implement in your app and dashboard that's all for this video see you in next video thank you